We like to do our desserts really balanced, and we're balancing yeah, this. So there's not too much sugar or too much of anything in this. Yep. It'll be really balanced. Okay, so you were also, I wanted you, everybody, to know that you were the youngest female sh chef. How old were you uh, to cook in the James Beard House in New York, which is very prestigious? So please explain what the James Beard House is. Uh, the James Beard House, um, it's it's an organization. Um, it's a non-profit organization. They invite chefs in. They, they give out awards to the best chefs in the country. Uh, it's a very prestigious uh, honor to be invited to cook at the James Beard House, and I think I was 22 when I got That's invited. That's really, really wow. young. All right. Great. Wow. So when you were on the um, chefs, on the Top Chef, what was your biggest challenge? Um, you know, I have to say that it wasn't even a culinary challenge that was my biggest challenge. I have a lot of, um, a lot of fears. I have a fear of heights. I have a fear of boats, and I have a fear of like. Being trapped in small spaces, and and I, I was actually you have to course, cook on a boat. I did. You did? I did. Wow. I actually had to take a helicopter ride to one of my challenges, <gasps> um, which ended Are up you being. Are afraid of helicopter? Uh, well, I mean, yeah. That ties like, into heights, I yes. guess. Yeah. Oh, right. Heights and small spaces yeah. and loss of control. Oh, well, I mean, it was like the epitome of everything that I was well, scared of. Well, you should have talked to Frances. She was on a real big boat. That went way down. Yeah, all right. I'm glad I wasn't on that boat. <laughs> yeah. So explain to us uh, how you're going to put all of this together, because it looks delicious. Um, this is crazy good, by the way. Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 my God. OK, yeah, so yeah. basically, um, you know, Everybody knows what tapioca pudding is, but very few what people is it? actually. Well, it's actually made out of taro root starch, oh. and it's these little pearls, and um, they take a little while to cook. So you, it actually helps to soak them a little. It and instead of cooking them in just water, which is generally what most people do, and then they add cream, um, we are going to add a little bit of water, but oh. we're also going to add um, some flavor directly into wow. this, and we're going to use coconut milk instead of cream. Wow. Yeah. Um, Why do you use coconut for the for the? You know, flavor? I actually yeah. like the flavor of the coconut milk, and it and it makes it. Feel like a natural coconut dessert Very rather tropical. than tropical. Yeah. So it is goes this vegan then. Uh, except no where the curd on top has some egg and some butter. In. Oh, so okay. Um, and we'll then we're gonna add a little sugar to sweeten it up. It tastes and like a vacation it. we were just talking about. Here's here's Doesn't your rum. Then this is gonna kind of make it feel like a. Um, we're easy, easy. <laughs> easy. Oh, wow. there. <laughs> that was close. That kind of makes that it feel like a, a pina colada. This actually takes a little while to cook. How long um, does it take? Actually? About half an hour, and you want to make sure that those little pearls are completely translucent. Do you have and to that's keep how you know it's cooked. Turning. You you kind time. of turn. Intermittently stir okay. the the next component is the curd and that's something that you actually have to constantly stir. Okay. So we have wow. egg yolks. Okay. Um, we have sugar. Sugar. It's white sugar. Okay. It's white sugar. Granulated sugar. sugar. You, could, you could substitute with um, a different kind of sugar, and you actually need to stir that right away because um, sugar actually cooks egg yolks. It um, does. If you just oh. let it stand. Okay. We have passion fruit puree, which actually, when you get it. Uh, that's what you're yeah. When you get pure passion fruit, like know. the fresh Wait, passion fruit, it's actually, it this is a frozen puree and there's right no now. sugar added to it. Um, and when you get that that bright, fresh passion fruit puree, it's really acidic, so you need that sugar. And we're actually going to take a vanilla bean here. Ooh, my favorite. You're going to cut it and take all the... Wow. Yeah, so you I'm like, want to get Want me to turn it while you get the whole thing right away. A fresh vanilla bean, and then it's a little bit easier to get those seeds out and split it straight down the center. Um, Try not to split it all the way through, and then you can open that up and take the back of the I'm knife. Always amazed by the and scrape oh, out the like seeds. Just, like, you have all those it. seeds right oh there. I love it, oh, and that's nice. a flavor. It's so yeah. unbelievable, it's not, so different. Yeah. Wow. So basically, you stir that, um, and this is something that you have to constantly stir until it thickens. I'll do You're that. just stirring then, it because the egg is cooking. Well, it, or we do you don't have, have to time to finish yeah. the sauce, because, so, but basically, yeah. So you don't curdle that egg. It takes how long? About a half. Takes about. 20 minutes, half an hour, depending on how much. This wouldn't take yeah. so long because it's not very much. But it's then worth it. Oh, to, right. to make it a little bit um, creamier and richer, you would add that butter butter in a couple cubes at a time. Oh, um, this should is be a so room temperature. Mm. Like the flavor right? in here mm. is just, I mean. What's really nice, I actually have a passion fruit tree at home, and it's really nice to add. Fresh what's the passion, passion fruit, fruit at home? Of course you do. Right. 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 Um, None of us do. But the seeds in the passion no, fruit so um, actually add a really cool texture. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm going to ask Frances if she would go into our refrigerator. Francis, go into the refrigerator. No, go ahead. Go. Go ahead. So, Open the, it. we're Wait. serving these in mason jars. Wow. <laughs> wow. That 
That's never happened before. Wow. You're magical. Wow. Want to take the bowls out? You didn't know that. Oh, we want to take our. I'm sorry. I'm gonna assemble some for you. This is what it comes out like. So this is what it comes out like. Oh, so you want to make sure it's completely chilled before you start plating it. Uh, yeah. Now I. That would take way too long. Um, so this basically, you can out. see in here these those little pearls are completely translucent. That looks so Look at that! Um, yes. And it tastes yes. like natural, real coconut because it's made with oh, coconut okay. milk. Um, I like it. And we're we're gonna layer it like you would a trifle. Um, we've made a little um, crumble here with some black sesame seeds and some brown sugar and a little bit of flour. Um, you could add flax seeds in there. I you just could add. Go Whatever and kind build of house. And build, build up. So yeah, so, so delicious. It's it's so want to try okay. to not get it all over the place. Actually, to make it a little bit easier, you can you can get these plastic piping bags. Oh, nice. And you just cut off the tip. We're gonna watch you while we're plate. watching you uh, build the house here. Uh, oh. We'll tell you that you can check out Chef Brooks. Um, she is uh, on her new show that she has. It's on MTV. It's MTV's new show called House of Food, premiering March 31st at 10 o'clock.